Our other top story tonight, prayers for Aretha Franklin, as we've learned she's now in hospice care. And uh, if you were out on Woodward today, you may have spotted this in Ferndale. This is the marquee at the magic bag, putting it perfectly today, R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Let's get to Karen Drew, who's been monitoring the latest on Aretha's condition tonight. Karen? Well, Jason and Kim, as you mentioned, sources close to Aretha tell us she is in hospice care at this hour at her home and that her condition has not changed in the past 24 hours. Now, we have learned she has had several visitors to her home today. We have learned legendary singer Stevie Wonder, a longtime friend and collaborator with Aretha Franklin, came to visit her today. You might remember they were supposed to collaborate together on her latest album that unfortunately never came to be. Also visiting her today, the Reverend Jesse Jackson. He was here also last year in June when Franklin received the key to the city of Detroit. And Aretha's ex-husband, Glenn Turman, to whom she was married from 1978 to 1984, stopped by her home today, all to pay their respects to the ailing Queen of Soul. Now we're also learning Aretha Franklin, her family and close friends are aware of your prayers and they are reading your well wishes that we're sending her. And that has been going on for the past few days. So as you can imagine, those messages definitely lifting their spirits. You can certainly send Aretha Franklin and her family your thoughts. We do have an entire section dedicated on our website. You can find that by logging on to one of our stories on the homepage on clickondetroit.com. That's the very latest. We'll send it back to you in the studio. Kimberly, Jason. Yeah. yeah. Family and friends and fans and other celebrities continuing to show their support for the legendary singer as well. Last night, former President Bill Clinton tweeted, quote, uh, like all the people all around the world, Hillary and I are thinking about Aretha Franklin and listening to her music that has been such an important part of our lives the past 50 years. And we'll introduce you to the local drummer who worked with Aretha during her rise to stardom in the 60s. His personal stories of getting to jam with a legend. That's coming up on Local 4 News at 6.